one thing that really opened up to me is when my friend Rodney got stabbed. He, she got stabbed in the neck by a 17-year-old young boy. Rodney was... She never knew that she was a trump, but everyone could see that she's a woman. Yeah, she had her own little pause a place. She had her own little place. She was just a woman through and through. She had no children. She had no one but herself. So that Saturday when I when I, she was stabbed just a community outside from where I was staying a place outside from where I was staying in this area and she got stabbed in the other area and I had to run that Saturday because my cousin told me hey come over she called me come over Rodney was stabbed and when I got there they put on the silver thing upon her she was dead she was no more She was like that girl. to myself, I will never die like Rodney has just done, like just died. It's other that I love my life to the fullest, or oh, I would love to end, you know, at the hands of these people that are so merciless. And that guy got free of his, of his case. He never went to prison. There was no evidence, no witness, no one. So my friend never got justice for her case. And even I, that was her closest friend, never got the time to mourn her, her death, you know? Because there was so much politics, so much complexness, and nobody really acknowledged her. Because everyone knew in the community she was just another Morphe. She was just another woman, just another Morphe. But we didn't get a chance to mourn her, our friend as she was, you know? And just that morning before she died, we went to shop right together because at the place she was staying, that woman sent her to shop right. So we went to shop right together and we and she gave me and, and we did this and that and she gave she bought me everything that I wanted that Saturday morning. We even went to go register to go and vote because it was around November and the voting time was next year, the next year. So we went there to vote. Just to come and find her, and I left her and I said, my friend, I'm going home, where are you going? She said, no, I'm going to that lady over on the other side. I said, okay, fine. Just to come and find out, my, my cousin is calling me, telling me that my friend was dead and she was no more. My only friend I could that I could ever talk about who I was and who I really wanted to be, you know? And she died such an undignified death. Any questions? And, day out. People are dying. And, I don't and that has driven me. It has really driven me to, to, to stand in this movement, to be vocal. Still I remain strong, and to speak to my other world. sisters, you know, mm. because I don't want the same thing to happen to them that happened to Rodney. We die at the hands of our lovers, of our perpetrators, yet they walk around freely. Yes. Do you have a picture on Rodney? No. I would have it on Facebook. I have to go and download it now on Facebook. I have to go and take it off 
Let's go and grab it from Facebook. Maybe you could put that in the book. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then one people came, uh, and then the people keep on kept on calling me and saying, "Your friend passed away," and then. For Issa, she was like this one. Exactly. Hmm? So that's Sukani, 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 Sukani,